hearing noises here. Yeah, I've just seen something. All right. Cricket bat chat. Cricket bat indeed. Um. Yeah, there's someone in the distance there, chat. So welcome to everyone tuning into the stream. I do apologize if I miss any messages. I'm going to be concentrating a little bit more on the stream so I don't get myself killed. But welcome nonetheless. I do hope you enjoy the stream. Hopefully it's not too spooky, but just spooky enough. All right, they were definitely through here. Oh, yes. All right. Also, at this stage, chat, if there is any issues, audio or visual, do let me know. And we'll try and get them addressed as soon as possible. All right, come on. All right, I need to get in the habit of shutting doors behind me, just in case. That'll do the trick. I think we might be clear for more of them. Um, let me go ahead and shut this door for now. Grab a few things from here. Now, we are going to have to make sure that we are hydrated when we go out. I'm not entirely sure just how bad the whole survival element's going to be, because we are playing on survival as well. So let's fill a couple of bottles. I'm not entirely sure if uh, we're going to need this or not. That's it done. Anyone in here? I don't actually think there's anything in there at all, so uh, let's let's continue on. Uh, dead red roach. Don't particularly like how dark it is over there, chat. There we go. I nearly ran into that chat. That would have been a short stream. Let's try and take this guy down. Don't want to get... And he's done. Very good. Generator did most of the work there. Water fountains in the vault should be rad free. The vault has been tainted, my friend. We're playing spooky hardcore. Now, with the character that we are going to be playing and what I'm going to be doing, I'll just uh, pause momentarily so I don't get myself killed while I'm explaining. Character-wise, we are going to be doing whatever quests ping up from any of the mods that we have added. I'm going with the fact that the character has woken from being frozen. He doesn't know if he's actually alive. He's unsure if he's going insane. He's uh, generally not not really clued up as to what's going on. So uh, we're just going to be taking things as they go in along. Got two of them here. We can loot the zombies. A little bit of random junk from them. Most of them have got pre-war money on. Rad Roach meat. Speaking of Rad Roach meat. No, no. It's too far back. That's fine. Right, again, with the shutting of the doors. Before I get the gun, let's head around here. No, no one in here. That's fine. Standard stuff in here. Beretta. Very good. We'll take that. 
can't get the cryolator yet, unfortunately. Bobby pin, that's probably going to be exceptionally useful in this room. Bobby pin. I need that hit boy chat and then we can actually get a light source in because these dark corners, they are going to get me killed. Uh, stream should be fine. Requires terminal. How many times have I played Fallout and done the exact same thing there? Right, so ammo-wise, we seem okay at the minute, but I'm not sure what ammo is like in the world. So, um... Let's try and melee as much as we can. I believe there are going to be some more dangerous things than just these zombies. So I might need to save the ammo for whatever else is lurking in the darkness. Glorious. Okay, there's quite a few down here. There was me thinking we'd maybe get one or two zombies here. He's indeed. Right, they go down fairly quick, but they do a lot of damage if I remember correctly. And one more does the trick. Down he goes. Now, one thing that we've got on is... Oh, it's actually fried roaches as well. Uh, body physics for the dead zombies. So, we can get stuck if there's too many of them. Okay, that would be nice and uh, dangerous in certain locations. He's on birds hanging around in corners. Right, it's gone it. It's already spawned. Okay, right, if I can pick the pit boy up, it means we're out of combat. Very good chap, very good. Right, so we can apply a couple of mod sets here and then when we get out of the vault as well. in the pit boy right pit boy loaded let's go ahead and check out the grim menu get those settings put on that we are going to be playing with so grim is the main horror mod that we're playing with we have whispering hills on as well and we'll be getting to that at some point in the future, but Grim is the overall horror thing that we are putting on. Do you really want to cast the curse of the witches upon you and become visible to the unseen? The satanic spell crafted long before the war to summon demons and tormented souls by witches in Salem cannot be forsaken easily until the gate is shut. The curse of the witches is now on you. Keep your eye vigilant for the girl in the white dress. Stay on the road at night, lest you be taken by the beasts. Right, a couple of other things to do. Very good. Thank you very much, chill. Right, curse settings. Now, we are going to be disabling the witch hunters. These are NPCs that travel around the world hunting witches, if you wouldn't have guessed. I find them a little bit overpowered in the fact that we can end up with a load of overpowered weaponry quite easy, so we're we'll turning those off. Uh, we'll be keeping all creatures, we want the dead rising, we want night beasts, and we want the hell world to come on, so that's fine. Frequency and density. We may change these options as we go along. What we are going to be playing for now is the Grim Default on both Frequency and 
advanced state. Visual settings. We are going to be setting this to the woman in black. Nice visual overhaul. Pit boy set in. Enable Grim's Pit Boy. Use Grim's Pit Boy skin with torchlight. And then I think we have one more option to do. Enable Grim for ENV max out compatibility. There we go. Tempest just subscribed. Welcome to the channel, my friend. Now, I believe that's all the options for Grim done. So, what we're going to do at this stage, because we all know how Fallout runs, is pop a hard save. There we go. That is beautiful. Right, let's get a door open. Get ourselves out of here. Right, let's go and look the other bits while we can. Now, you're going to get used to this character here. This is the girl in a white dress. She follows me around. And I believe it's her that's actually going to be spawning enemies. Not entirely sure how it works fully. So I haven't fully explored the mod. Um, but from what I've seen, we need to not not injure her if we uh if we injure her either on purpose or by accident she uh she gets a little angry chat right, let's get out of here now because there's so many extra things spawning i'm gonna have to check areas and corners that i would not normally check just in case Oh, it's that 100. Beautiful. Welcome to everyone who is tuned in. Alright. Hopefully this doesn't get me killed as soon as we go out. Alright, we can change name, special attributes, change appearance, finish the exit of vault. So, as the appearance, I've just gone for standard Nate. I think I'm just going to stick with standard Nate. Visually. I think visually that should be fine. I think aside from the occasional dialogue choice, we are going to be playing this mainly first person. <laughs> Watch the Wii movie spawn instantly. Probably. I think we get a little bit of time while mods activate when we leave where things won't spawn. We'll be, uh, we'll be crouching instantly though. Thank you very much, Dog Ref. Make him look more scruffy. We can always go in and uh, edit the character as we go along. Uh, don't worry, you won't be attacked for about a minute or two, but for now you need to finish setting up your game, blah, 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 blah. Alright, go crouch, go crouch, as things will spawn. <laughs> Very good. Um, siren head over there. Right. Let's wait for a moment while things activate just to give the game a little bit of time. God damn, she scares me every time she does that. Hopefully siren head doesn't notice me. Now we are playing with the Fallout 476 open world overhaul. Because I've got other mods on, such as Whispering Hills, we won't be replacing a load of the NPCs. Because it will break those quests, and that is what we want to be doing. 
Oh god, uh, a night circle creature has appeared. Okay chat, I've done a little bit of testing of this and this has never happened when we first come out of the vault. I've always had a little bit of time before we end up getting attacked. So this is very good. Is that the... What have, we got, what have we got around us? Uh, it does indeed appear to be coming towards me, so... Uh... Yep, yeah, that's a no from me. That is a straight-up no from me. Let's... Uh... Bobby pen. Not even a drink. Oh, no, it's here. Vim. Oh, very good. Nope. No, 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 no. I am going to have to get rid of her as well, so I don't know how this is going to play out. There we go. She's turned into spiders. And we get a And now zombies. Okay, just a couple of zombies then, game. Going in nice and easy. Reminder that this is default sense, ladies and gentlemen. And default sense. Now there is a gentleman in this that I need to speak to, so uh, we've got some zombies to get rid of. Alright, spiders. Spiders, please. Right, the spiders are attacking the zombies, that's good. What the hell is that? Oh my god, what? Game, please! Two big dudes with, uh... With swords. I... I don't think that they are friendly, chat. Right, we'll come back to the gentleman in there. I'm gonna leave those two fine... Whatever the hell they are to deal with the zombies, and I'm getting out of here. Don't look back, don't look back, and everything will be just fine and dandy. Right, how's Sanctuary looking, chat? Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Right, we should still have Codsworth here, good. He can help out a little bit. There she is. Oh, we've definitely got Zombinos. Codsworth, my friend. Yeah, we'll let Codsworth on the team. Yeet that tricycle. Right, if we need to go anywhere, chat, it's definitely into the basement. But I need to make sure that we are not in combat before we do so. Otherwise, everything will follow me inside there. And that is a surefire way to get myself killed. So uh, we'll wait until we are out of combat. What the hell is that? So this is her doing. She spawns these guys in. So if you ever wonder why there's suddenly zombies just appear. That is, uh, that is down to her. And he goes. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where Codsworth has gone. Down he goes. See some zombies on the roof? That's always good. Alright. Um, how are we going to deal with this? Go down her footsteps. Right there over there. I, I kind of actually was expecting Codsworth to be helping a little bit more. Don't entirely know where he is. Got a rad roach. We'll take whatever food we can get at the minute. Because I, again, don't know what the spawn rates for stuff is going to be. Right, this place is absolutely crawling. Okay. 
get smashing them zombie brains. Like I said, I'm going to try and melee as much as I can. What the hell was that? What, what just knocked me? I think I took a little bit of damage there and I'm not entirely sure what from. Time for pistol has come. Right, let me uh, let me just check my stats here. Nope, just adrenaline. I have absolutely no idea what that was then. Right, we've got a bit of a job ahead of us here, chat, clearing out this area. I'm getting some big. Uh... Oh god, on the roof, chat, on the roof. No, no. Is she going to spawn into sp There's more. Right. I don't know if we can actually hang around here. I was kind of hoping we'd get this place set up a little bit. But uh, I'm not entirely sure that's going to be happening, chat. I need to get in that basement. At the very least, we need to get the basement. Right, let's go to the entrance and work our way backwards. Because I do indeed want whatever is in the basement. Good, the grenades are still there. Let's go ahead and make sure those are hotkeyed. Right, Codsworth's there. Okay, Codsworth can help out again. Ninth circle thing. I assume that's them spawning in until uh, it goes. Oh, literally right there. Literally right next to me. Right, let's make sure this house is clear. We'll grab the magazine as usual. Have we got the special book? I am not seeing a special book chat. Alright, might not. Antiseptic might need that. Let's grab that. God damn it. Alright, she's down. More spiderinos. They'll probably help fight the zombie, surely. Alright, that's that one down as well. I think that was all the, uh, I'm going to call them witches. Zombies just straight up disappearing and reappearing in front of me. Um, I think it's time for a grenade chat. That's taking care of a few of them. 106 experience for that. Very good. This big dude. I might have to go away and come back for the uh, the basement. I don't know how well this is going to work. Let's try and get the uh, duffel bag that's on the roof if it's still there. What the hell is that? Nope. On the roof. A zombie up here. That's not a normal zombie. That's a dead zombie. Right. Keeps feeling like I'm taking damage, but then... Uh, something is uh, definitely hitting me. Has anything got a ranged attack? I sure hope there is a use for pre-war money because I'm getting a lot of it from these zombies. 
I've just completely bailed on Codsworth as well. It's like 10 minutes in Sanctuary and we're uh, yet to make any progress. Now, do I have to kill the Ninth Circle enemies for it to stop? Oh, nearly took a hit. Grim's Note, 10 out of 16. That's what we need to keep an eye out for. I assume that's going to progress the story with these. No, thank you. Welcome to the channel, my friend. Do forgive me if I miss calling out. Boom, headshot. Oh my god, they just keep coming. Right, she, she's just chilling over there causing mischief. Silver bullets, don't mind if I do. Get him, Codsworth. Progress is illegal. Codsworth goes down very quick from these guys. This is all your fault. Right, I'm hearing some uh, not pleasant noises. Every small lungs make you cringe. Look about me, my friend. I feel like we are making a little bit of progress, albeit slow. I, I sh do wish you wouldn't do that. Uh, so, Delirium Trends. Find a... Wait a minute, what was that? Find a cure for your insanity. Okay, I suppose that's going to be the main quest. Loving the zombies on the roof. No, thank you. Yeah, the uh, the dead zombies on the floor getting in the way. I foresee that becoming an issue and getting me killed at some point. My music's calmed down. That's always a good sign. Okay, maybe not. Very good. Definitely jinx that. Oh, these ones are a bit tough. The random noises that have come from behind me, chat. Please, game. There we go. What do we get from that? Holy Spirit. We've leveled up. Very good. We've leveled up by smashing... Chat, they just keep coming, chat. I need to get into the basement. You watch, there's going to be absolutely nothing important in there now. Oh my god, chat, please. Right, let's keep at it, fisherman zombie. Let's be careful not to hit the girl in the white dress. Grenade! Not sure if she took damage there. This guy seems pretty quick. Ah, oh, sugar! Yeah, she's taking damage. She is not impressed. Codsworth, get in there, my friend. I need your help. Yeah, torture. Nope. Stuck on corpses. Right, she's done for now. Hell's gates are closed. Right, are we going to chill with the zombies and what have you now? Still on edge. Right, 
Come what the hell is that? Okay. Right, the sky is not as dark. Right, I think we've got a couple of straggler zombies left, but I think uh I think we may be past the hard bit there. Oh, we're still at it, absolute madman. A couple left on the roof. Let's pick off these last remaining stragglers then and we might be able to get whatever loot's in the basement. Already starting to drop down on the old ammo front. Waiting for that, that sweet, sweet music to uh, to calm down a little bit. Okay, so... Uh, I am legitimately sweating, chat. Whenever the uh, screen shakes, though, that always sets me a little bit on edge. Codsworth straight back to the gardening. Right, let's get to the basement before anything else decides to spawn. Oh, I think we can take a, uh, a well-deserved breath there, chat. Very good. Now, like I said, I've tested this a little bit. And I've never experienced the hell world appearing pretty much as soon as we come out. So, uh... That was a little bit stressful, if I do say so myself. Hopefully there's nothing in here. Right, straight over here. Wait for anything to spawn in. Right, I think we're clear. Right, grab everything. Uh, FN57 long, a new weapon. Very good. Ammo. I am not liking the noises. More ammo. Right, I need to get out of here. I do not like these noises, chat. That was a shotgun. Any more of this ammo? Not a huge fan of the ammo just being scattered around. Is this, uh, is this my insanity? Game, please. Uh, what have we got here? An FN. Oh, nice. Uh, let's let's remember to favorite this stuff. What is Vaker? Oh, we got a melee weapon. Thirty-six medium three. Twenty-six two. All right. Well, let's uh, let's switch out the old cricket back for whatever this is. All right, we got a sh hunting shotgun. Very good. Definitely worth coming in here then. All right, let's loot everything quickly before something does actually make its way in here. Not gonna be able to get that safe. That's fine. I'm slightly concerned that when I leave here, something's gonna spawn and kill me. <laughs> what are you saying? Those voices aren't normal. We've leveled up as well. Right, we'll do that when we get out. Let's get out. I don't like being in there. A little bit too spooky. Want to be just subscribed? Welcome to the channel. Welcome indeed. Still slightly concerned that those guys are still going to be up near there. We do actually need to go back because I need to speak to an NPC that's in there. Uh, let's have a look at the levels up because the whole system with how we're running it, this one's offset for some strange reason. There are certain perks that we can't get until later on. Let's have a look. Yeah, we can get some that are down here already, but we need specific special stats.
Uh, what can we get at this stage then? At this very early stage in the game. Level 3 for that. A Vault Tech guide you displays the path to your closest quest target and then 5% more experience. Uh, Vans. Any hey, pants? 5% more experience. It's okay. To defeat your enemies and other weaknesses, you can view Vaf's slow factories increased by 5%. I suppose I could always keep perk behind. Let's not spend it just yet until we level up a little bit. Get a perk or two. Alright, what is this? A sick sword. Very good. Game, please. Right, where do I need to go to cure my insanity? Uh, show on the map. Is that it, or is that a different quest? Find the entrance to the Whitman family fallout shelter. Okay. Okay, let me take that off. That's still on the map. Right, well, it's not giving me a location for finding a cure for my insanity, so that means this is going to be a little bit harder. Right, let's make our way back. Um, might actually equip the shotgun in case those big guys with swords are still there. Our good friend Siren Head's still around. Now, if I I'm pretty sure that he won't engage us unless we get too close to him. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep a little bit of a distance from him for now. We are tired from lack of sleep. I am not surprised. This feels a little bit better. So we've got a few zombies coming around. Why does Siren Head sound like he's exceptionally close? Alright, is he in here? He is. Right, we need to speak to him. Down you go. Just need to make sure it's clear because I believe we enter a speech dialogue and you know how it is. We'll be stuck in that and a zombie will come up and start hitting me from behind while I'm in the speech. So I'm pressing into a zombie. So initially, I've got it so that the oh no, he's right there. Companions and NPCs can't permanently die. This is because, like I mentioned before, I don't want any of the new quests from the mods to break. Once we've done those quests, anyone is fair game. What time it game? What am I taking rads from? Right, he's down, he's down. Let's have a quick scout of the area. Now, the dialogue for this is voiced by someone different because it's a mod. I remember it being a little bit janky when I tested it. Let's go ahead and throw a quick save. Yeah, Preston is safe for now. Harry Manson. All right, let's get hey, behind you. Harry Manson. Please, help me. I'm desperate, I swear. I mean you no harm. Please, help me as one parent to another. How do you know I'm my father? Who are you? Right now? Haha, <laughs> that voice actor. to find his daughter. Okay, what's that gotta do with my son? Okay, hear me out. I know you came out of that vault. In fact, I've been trying to get in there for a very long time now. Oh yeah? Well that is a good way to get shot. So tell me, why are you stalking me? No, no, I'm not stalking you, I swear. 
and I don't, don't like the screen like shaking. Shots, so if I could just explain. Look, my name is Harry Manson. It's been over 12 years now since some religious fanatics kidnapped my daughter. Right, Ever I'm sorry, day, Harry, but uh, something is quite clearly happening. Also, Chill, I haven't activated because it replaces the NPCs for uh, the Whispering Hills mod. Darkness. Don't misunderstand me. The Commonwealth is no spring chicken. But this fog is really? a radiation. And the abominations that parade through the streets are not mutated. I don't know how much they taught you in that vault, but I doubt there's a manual for this. Okay. Right, there is... I think this might just be my insanity chat, but... Alright, I think we're okay. Hey. Have we broken Harry? I think we may have broken Harry. Okay. I need to do a quick reload arena if we have broken him. Hey. Are we, are we good? <clears throat> no, he's just peaced out. He's he's done. Right, well, uh, let me check the quest. Talk to the stranger. Well. Let's go ahead and do a quick reload arena. The voice acting isn't bad, it just sounds a little bit different than uh than Nate, so it's uh, quite funny. Hey there. Hey, you There we go. Let's let's go through this speech dialogue. I mean you no harm. Please. Um, one parent to another. What was that? I am I am actually gonna get behind this guy to speak to him just in case anything gets to the doorway. How do you know I'm a father? Who are you? Right now? I'm just a father trying Not to that I can see while we're in the speech dialogue. Okay, what's that got to do with my son? Okay, hear me out. I know you came out of that vault. In fact, I've been trying to get in there for... Right. Yeah, we heard this bit. Oh yeah? Well, that is a good way to get shot. So tell me, why are you stalking me? No, no, I'm not stalking you, I swear. And I don't usually like to be shot, so if I could just explain. Brain spot. Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. It's been over 12 years now since some religious fanatics kidnapped my daughter. Ever since that day, the Commonwealth... The Commonwealth has changed. This fog, this silence, and, well, the darkness. Don't misunderstand me, the Commonwealth is no spring chicken. But this fog isn't radiation, and the abominations that parade through the streets are not mutated. I don't know how much they taught you in that- Okay, we had this as well. That's horrifying. And these wackos took my Sean? Yes, I'm afraid so. But I know where they took him. I've been tracking these cult members for a long time, mostly waiting for them to make a move. Now they've stolen a baby from this vault and spoke of some unholy marriage. Probably some prophecy. I don't care. The sons of bitches took my child and yours to the Dunwich Borders. Okay, I'm that sounds that sounded free. legit. Not sure what that was, but that sounded real. Well, all right then. I guess that's a good place as any to start. Where is it? Wait. Before you go, you must understand something. You're looking for a door. Maybe just okay. a hole in the ground, but you'll know it when you get there. Behind that door we will is indeed. a place called Whispering Hills. I've spied on these cult members for a while, and I don't know much, but I've overheard them speaking, followed clues and the like. Apparently, they were talking about bringing them to this place called Whispering Hills. They also mumbled something about a dream world and sense, but I don't honestly know what they meant. Okay. Dream world? Whispering Hills? Are you on drugs? I know. Are you on I'm drugs? I'm you to trust me. Just know that I'm the only connection you have to your son, and you are the only connection I have to my daughter. We need each other, or we will lose both of our children. Well, all right then. I guess I don't have any other leads. I'll go there when I can. Thank you. Please hurry. Do you need any other information? I should go. Please yeah, you make here. a good good point the there, Rommel. Come again shortly. You should find shelter for the night. Oh sweet Jesus! Right, shotgun is coming out. 
All right, so he's given us a location that we can go to, and that's the start of the Whispering Hills mod. We won't be doing that in today's stream, I don't think. I think we need to get ourselves a little bit more prepared than coming straight out of the vault to go there. Shove her out the door and run. I don't know if I need this guy later on. I haven't done this mod before, so uh, we'll leave him for now. Oh, welcome back. Any news? I haven't left yet, Harry. Please. I want to get away from Siren Head because he uh, he creeps me out more than anything so far, I think. So, let's see. That voice only appears, I believe, with the Whispering Hills content. So, I think aside from that, it goes back to the normal Nate voice. Let's... That's that quest acquired. Let's, uh, let's make sure Sanctuary is fully cleared out here. We will initially play the game as if we would normally. You know, we'll go down to Concord, we'll, uh, we'll get Preston and the gang. Because they might be able to help me find a cure for my insanity. Because it's not giving me any other leads whatsoever, I assume it expects me to uh, play through the game as I would normally. Probably go and speak to Codsworth. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's it's really you. Codsworth? You're still here. So other people could still be alive too. But be good. of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International. It'd be pretty cool if modders could hire Nate and Nora's voice actors to do modded dialogue. That'd be pretty cool. I wonder if um I wonder if they would be contractually obligated against doing that from Bethesda. They came into the vault. That's a very interesting point. Maybe you saw them armed, wearing strange outfits. Only Miss Rose's boy. Oh, in the background. Uh, welcome to the stream, Merciful. I only missed the escape from the vault. Pretty much, we had a little bit of activity when we first got to Sanctuary. Probably worth checking back at that after today's stream. Um. They killed her. Pretty sure if there are any around here, Codsworth goes hostile to them anyway, so we should be good. I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sure yes, Codsworth, let's play charades. This is the perfect time. The land, uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, good God. God damn it, tell me what's going on. 200 years? A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Chat, I would highly recommend, if anyone isn't doing so at the minute, to uh, experience this by wearing headphones. What? Food? Y yeah, sure. We'll take the food. I need a minute to think. Then I'll be right back. Oh, is that Nate's stomach growling? Right, there is definitely nothing to the right of me. The the random noises. Now, the issue with the random noises chat is I'm going to get used to them. And at some point I'm going to hear a noise and just think it's a noise and it's going to be something legitimate. And that's going to end in a bad time. Sure. 
sugar bombs, Cartworth. Yes, please. Thank you very much. You're hungry. Um, that the reds. I don't think the reds are going to be a problem anymore. I have an idea. Let's search the neighborhood together. Yes, Cartworth. Let's do that. Codsworth, I already looked. They're not here. Then they're really gone, aren't they? They are indeed. Thanks for trying. Exactly that, chill. Exactly that. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Um. Thank you, Codsworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. Have an entire box of cereal. It's always good. Right. Um, medicine. Need to remember that we are probably going to need quite a bit of it. Now the uh, the clear weather is kind of tripping me out. Let's see if we can just make any quick customizations to the weapons that we have. So we have three Berettas. That one's got some form of light. Let's break these down. Oh, we could get a sick paint job on this knife, chat. Light of the Dead. That looks pretty okay. I wasn't expecting it to. Uh... There we go. That'll do. Pure holy a visual upgrade there. So, as a quick explanation for the mods in this list, like I said, you can find the full mod list over on the Discord. This mod list was installed through Wabberjack. There is a video on my second channel that install explains how to do that. Um, this is based off of a now deleted Wabberjack file called Ghoul Out. And then I've gone ahead and added a few more as well. Thirty-five damage on that. The FN does a lot more damage. The suppressor feels like it would be a good idea. And a bayonet on the shotgun. I think that'll do for now. Just a couple of little upgrades there. Let's go ahead and stash everything here for now. So we've got the most carry weight that we can do. And um, I'm going to check the cooking workstation on the way out. But I think we should make our way down to Concord. Welcome to the channel, Agonizing Turtle. Welcome indeed. You got to stop. I do indeed. God damn it, game. Right, purified water, what do we need? Dirty water. Alright, we'll get one of those. But now we're just going to be taking whatever we can do. That's it for now. Should probably go and check the old chemistry station actually as well before we go out. Think we're clear. Ooh. This cupboard. I'm not entirely sure what that is. I think it's just a visual. Alright, we can get a crossbow. Uh, 
Okay, there's a lot of options here. Right, what was that that we just made? Was it apparel? Faker hosted back. It's favourites. We won't be able to see that because we're playing in first person for the most part. That's fine, it's all about the extra level of immersion, just knowing that it's there. Um, chat, I'm seeing something in the distance. Chat, what the hell is that? Um, let me get, let me get over here. I don't know what it is, but I think it's fighting zombies. Will I be doing Fallout London when it drops? I will indeed. That looks very interesting. Especially with it being on the old home turf. Yeah, I'm just going to straight up not go near what, whatever the hell that is. Kind of reminds me of a... Um, what, what, what's it called? A, a lesson from The Witcher. Zombies on the road. A Wendigo, Chupacabra. No. Please no. Man, I wish I had a sniper rifle so I could see. Alright. Here we go. Some down here as well. That's fine, he's busy over there. Welcome to the channel. back a little bit. Yeah, he's still there. It's fine. As long as he's there, that's fine. It means he's not near me. Let's try and line up the headshots. Oh, oh, oh. I back up a little bit. Wrongly estimated. Four ninety nine for super chat. I should go pet it. I think that would be a very, very bad idea. Well, thank you very much for the donation. Very much appreciated, my friend. Down he goes. Right, good. Uh, what was that not? What the hell is that chat? What is that? Let's make sure nothing's creeping up behind me here. I agree, go pet the Wendigo. Oh, that's two two donations. I mean, we could always uh, go and investigate a little bit. Just a little bit. Thank you very much again. I think it might be time for a, uh, a gun. Chat, what is this thing? It's dead, whatever it is. A mumbler. Yeah, that's, that's a no from me. Do it. Do it. Oh, God. Maybe go pet it with your bullets. I don't know if a pistol's going to be enough. Now it's free. Go give it a hook. Chat, please. Right, well, I, I can't refuse that now, then, can I? 
That would be very rude on my part. Also, thank you very much, guys. That's very much appreciated. What's going to be the uh, least worst way to do this? Draconic and Andy, thank you very much. Um, let's drop down here. Let me just remember what the sprint button is. If this thing starts charging at me, chat, I'm going to have to run. Quick save. <laughs> you absolute madman. He's got some zombies behind him as well. Thought he was fighting the zombies. Right, imagine ever so close to this. Dramatic music, please. Yeah, we've quick saved. It's fine. Kinda wish I hadn't wasted my grenades. Goddamn voices, please. Maybe it's friendly. Maybe it's friendly. I am genuinely impressed that it hasn't spotted me. I think it's focused on these guys over here. Um. I swear to God, if this just turns around at some point. Just Google it as a possible companion. That feels like bait to me, my friend. Shoot it, right. I'm going to shoot a zombie near it. Oh, Jesus. Well, that set him off. Right, he seems busy with those. That's fine. Don't think I'm not keeping an eye on him out the corner of my eye here, chat. Down you go. Oh, this is very good at taking out zombies. Slicing them in half. I scared him away. Oh, I have that effect on big, scary monsters. Chat, is everyone afraid of water? I see some zombies in the distance there. Yeah, he is, he is straight up eating them zombies. Okay. He's cute. Come on. Go give him a kiss. All right. Uh, fine then, chat. You've made me do this. You're parched from lack of water. Well, I think we're going to need a little bit of a drink. He just straight up disintegrated that zombie. And now he's throwing other bits of zombies at zombies. Chat. Chat, please. What are you doing to me? I'm just impressed at how efficient he is at combat, chat. I've got zombies creeping up behind me. Right, I'm heading over here, chat. Take a little bit of radiation from the water. And I'm taking care of these guys. Go. Where is it? There he is. Any 
anymore. Anymore. I'm just seeing bits of zombies exploding left, right, and center here, chat. Do, uh... Do we get rid of this guy? Robbie, my friend. Anuka Cola. What a fantastic choice. Welcome to the channel, my friend. Get yourself over to the Discord. Make yourself known. Drop me a message. And I'll get you the relevant perks. Chat, I think I just... Uh, I think I just panicked. I panicked and instantly brought up the pit boy. I mean, this guy's clearing away for me. I'm not entirely sure I wanted to go this way, but okay. Chat, I am in two minds. On, on one hand, I want to shoot this thing. And on the other, I think I'm going to end up regretting that. Try talking to it first. Yeah, he seems like a talkative kind of guy. Loot the zombies. Oh my god, we've got them creeping up on us. It's just me and this guy taking out all the zombies. Whoa. I think that was coming after me. Chat, I'm going to retreat a little bit. Just a little bit. It's a little bit too wooded there for me. This, this music. This music! Won't know what he does until you give him a hug. Kostrom, thank you very much, my friend. That's very generous. Right, fine. I've put this off long enough. Let's let's get to a relatively safe area. You know. In the context of everything else. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna fire a couple of uh shots if he doesn't speak. No! No 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 no. Yeah, I don't think he's talking, chat. I, d I don't think he's in a talkative sort of mood. Definitely not looking behind me. Definitely not doing that. Where is he? Yeah, pretty sure he was going for me then, chat. Don't know about you. Alright, let's get a height advantage here. Oh lord, he coming. I don't know if the shotguns were going to be enough. Well, I don't like the idea that he's just hanging around Sanctuary. Get, uh, Jesus Christ, game. Game, what are you doing to me? Oh, no. What was that noise? Right. He's over there still. I'm just going to go and speak to this dude over here. There was a fly who was trying to protect me. Chat, I think you have ulterior motives. Um, I'm not liking the look of his hands, chat. An eyeless Nasher. Okay, let's go check on our friend, our friend Dave the Wendigo. Shotgun seems pretty good. Animation on it was good. Where is this dude? This dude's right there. Oh my god. Can he actually get over the rocks? I mean, can I get over the rocks? I'm getting stuck here, chat. No! Podsworth, please. Right, now I am genuinely scared. There he is. No, 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 no! No, no! Podsworth! Oh, I'm gonna run out of stamina. Oh lord, he is actually coming. 
Chat, you've done this to me. Chat, this is your fault. I blame you. No! Oh my god, ragdolled. Much. Uh, death is not the end. Chat, you've done this to me. Dave to go. When you die in a wasteland, you can use a stim pack to recover, blah, blah, blah. Right, first death. And I'm blaming chat. You did this to me. Put away gun. Oh, why did I not put away the gun? Yeet. Yeah, we definitely got yeeted there. Um, where am I going to respawn, chat? Chat, am I going to respawn in Sanctuary? Because this could be very bad. This could be very bad indeed. Oh, no. Are we up at the vault? We are up at the vault. Okay, we've got a little bit of a distance. You are feeling fragile. You wake up extremely stupid. We haven't lost any caps because we didn't actually have any caps we are severely dehydrated and overtired so i think that means that we have lost a point in intelligence we're only experimenting right we need to go and sleep and drink right is he going to be that on sanctuary Let, let, let me try and see from here, because, uh... Maybe he just wants to have a little bit of a chat. I've got a zombie down there. This is a message from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Emergency Alert System. <laughs> this morning, Saturday, October... Severely dehydrated starving. Report him today. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely a poor neighbour. All right, let's get down to Sanctuary. We're not going to know if he's there unless we go back down. Oh. Right now, now I'm scared to go into Sanctuary chat. What have we? What have we? What have we done? Now, if I get inside a house, I don't know if he's going to be able to get inside. You know, the whole doorway is only a certain size. Thank you very much, Chill. Apologies from the chat. Nah, I'm only kidding, chat. You know I love you, really. Codsworth, my friend. I surely hope this thing is not here. Right, we don't have a bed. We need to drink some water. I am not liking how dark the sky is getting. Right, can we build a bed? A clean mattress. Oh god. Yes, build that there. Very good. We are dying, chat. We are actually dying. Let's go ahead and do that. Very good. Aid. Stim pack. Very good. Alright, that might help in the short term. Alright, we're coughing, chat. That's never good. Right, I think the only thing now is that we're tired because we chugged all that lovely, nice, dirty water. Oh, chat is back. Looks like we're not sleeping tonight, lads. Codsworth has had enough. Whoa! Codsworth's not hanging around. 
Okay, chat, we live here now. You are starving. Good. Yeah, we can't sleep with enemies nearby. Radiated food. Good. Feel better, but still famished. Come on, can we drop that up a little bit? Properly fed. Cool. We had to eat pretty much all the food we had. Oh, God. Codsworth's over there. Where is this thing? Into the channel, Rami. Where is he? Oh my god. Chat, I'd kind of prefer to know actually where he was. Right, we can make a run for it to that house, which is what I'm going to do. There he is. He was waiting for me to move. Oh my god, we've got a zombie in here. Get bayoneted. Okay, the bayonet is garbage. Right, he's down. Oh my god, that was with the flashlight on. It's getting dark, chat. Where is this thing? Just go and, just go and chat with the, uh, the quite obvious monster skull. It'll be fine, skull. This is going to use up all my precious ammo. Right, I'm making a run for it. Going house to house here. In fact, I'll tell you what we're going to do, chat. We're getting on the roof. I feel like that's a good idea. Oh, right. Where is he? Please let the white dress girl show up. Please, no. Where is this thing? All right. We are indeed going house to house. House to house seems to be the way we go. I'm going to have to leave uh, Sanctuary, I think. Hopefully he doesn't follow me. If Codsworth's <laughs> keeping him busy. Chat, what is going to happen when I bring Preston and the group back here? Yeah, cool. Let's just head out into Concord while it's uh, getting nice and dark. Nope. Hang around near Siren Head. All right, we've got one more house that's a little bit closer. All right, I'm getting out of here. 
turn the flashlight off for a second. Codsworth's over there torching him. Got a zombie there. I'm just going to completely ignore him. Kind of hoping Codsworth deals with him. If I'm honest. The, the absolute mad lad. He's only gone and done it. Right, excuse me while I'm just throwing up over here. I think Codsworth's killed Dave. He has as well. He's just got Deathclaw stuff because he's uh, technically a Deathclaw. Right, well, I'll not loot that, loot that then. Nice ribcage, bro. Oh. Right, well, uh... That was, uh... That was an experience, chat. That was definitely an experience. I never to, uh... Never to listen to the chat there. Very good. Please, for the love of God, can I sleep? Um... Before we do so, actually. <coughs> Let's go ahead and just pop that there. Oh, thank God we can sleep, chat. What a champ. So if we had companions and the like set to be able to kill, I don't think Codsworth would have survived two seconds with that dude. Right, are we actually going to get a full night's sleep here or is something going to interrupt me? Because I know that is a thing. Get clipping ready. Jesus. Can't sleep more than five hours on a day mattress. I'm pretty sure we, this is a clean mattress, chat. Game map, please. Um. Oh good, we've woken to a nice, uh, nice thunderstorm. Okay, so this is uh, flashlight off. I'm gonna go back to sleep. Back to sleep. You're awake, still tired. Wow, it's just like real life. I think we might be sick. Let's wait until it's a little bit brighter and then we will actually get ourselves down to Concord. Alright, let's uh, let's get out of Sanctuary. We've been here for far too long. Far, far too long. Man, that's crazy. I'm going back to bed. It's gonna hell no. Give me two seconds. What do we got here? Rowdy audio super shit. Twenty dollar he does. First stream I've been able to catch, and it's awesome. No, my friend, you are awesome. Thank you very much. That's greatly appreciated. All right, we have been quick saving here, chat. Let's uh. Let's throw a hard save down, you know, just in case. <coughs> now, the coffin chat. The coffin is a feature that happens if I'm damaged, if I've got poisoning or radiation. The zombies can hear me coughing. So that is going to get me killed. Uh, what do we got here? Eat C70. Nuka-Cola, my friend. 
what a fantastic choice enjoy your beverage get yourself over to the discord and make yourself known drop me a message and we'll get you the relevant perks my friend welcome to the channel now, excuse me while i just waste three bullets Dave to Electric Boogaloo. No, thank you. We're going to go ahead and not get dog meat for now. Yeah, he's going to cause more issues than what I'm prepared to take. Oh, good. Siren Head. Oh, are these just Zombinos? I think it's just zombies. Chat, who would have thought that zombies are the least of my worries? Uh, dog meat's got hit. Not good. Dog meat's getting mauled. Right, I'm getting any supplies that I can. Five dollar reduce as well, Pete. I'm gonna double time before I share some of you. But thank you very much, my friend. I do hope you you are enjoying the stream. Right there, come in. We're here for food. I'm grabbing whatever I can get my hands on, chat. Whatever there is. I don't care if it's pre-war food, goods, willy, anything. You are no longer feeling stupid. You're much better. Right there, come in. What oh, defenseless Dave. Oh no. Um Chat, that's a lot of zombies in Concord. Uh, that is a lot of zombies. That's uh, that's worrying. You can tell it's a lot of zombies because my frames drop a little bit when uh, when I look in that direction. Oh no, we got one of them little mumbler things. Right, let's go the scenic route here. Scenic route activated. A little bit laggy. At least the raiders will be dead. I, I think I would prefer raiders at this point, my friend. Would have been easy with Dave. Yeah, just bring Dave here. Let him do all the work. Oh, they came out of nowhere. Oh my god, this place is absolutely... That's a glowing one. I need to I need to disperse the zombies from near the front door because they will follow me straight in and I'll take damage. Oh sweet Jesus. Right, let's go back up this way, lure them away from the door, then we can go in. Now with this being fallout, when you go through a door, the game loads like two or three seconds before you actually see it. So things can hit you in that period of time. There's two ways we can deal with this. As soon as we load the door, I can hit the command key and that allows the game to load in the background. We'll probably try that. Uh, are there any mutated zombies in here? Like, it's, it's, There are a few. Oof. The choppiness. Just kill them, forehead. Oh, 
we uh, we could do with some Molotovs. I nearly got another level up. Yeah, we'll load them away. We'll get them killed. If I look at the horde of zombies, my game stutters like mental. Let's go around this way then. Don't like the noise that the mumblers are making. Trying to avoid zombies and read the charts. Have you the mod that allows the making of noisemakers? I don't believe I have. That sounds like it would be a pretty good addition. Right, let's get into the museum because Concord is a choppy mess at the minute. Right, this could be bad, chat. This could be bad. Death Claw in the sewer might be used in this situation. Yeah. I'm interested to see how that plays out when we get through this. Please don't take damage as soon as we come in. Don't load them to dog meat. So I didn't abandon Codsworth. I was uh, trying to keep Codsworth alive. Apologies for the bang. Yeah, so as soon as it loads, I'm going to hit the command key so that the game loads in the background and then we essentially on pause. Um, yeah, they are, they are all following me in here, chat. All of them. Oh, good God, there's big dudes. Um, worth milling these? Oh god, no. Nope. Regretio. Let's make sure there's nothing. Oh my god, I could do it with a grenade. Yes. Cough all over the zombies. Scalpel, that's not going to be any good. I don't think so. Boom. Um, is that... That's three glowing ones, chat. Three glowing ones, right next to each other. Oh, these are all following me as well. Time for this to go boom. Chill, what do you mean, my friend? Can the glowing ones come next to the uh, gas canister? Let's make them a hop. Hot race a little bit, the music. Yes, come closer, my friends. Come closer, indeed. A <coughs> little bit closer. Make sure nothing's sneaking up behind me here. Let's make sure I don't take damage. Jackpot. Beautiful. Okay, maybe not. Right, he's down. This one isn't. These guys take three shots to the heads. Um, it's got some decent items off that glowing one. I think we got a weapon as well there, chat. You're going to put this on a wagon for us. I need to look into how to uh, upload stuff. Like I said, it's, it's based off of an old Wabjack mod list. Uh, that's no longer available, so uh, I'm not entirely sure why it isn't. Uh, an MPX we just picked up. 30A, low damage. Glenn ones give a lot of experience. I, I, I'll be honest, I didn't even notice. Right, what ammo are we getting here? 
Bobby pins, please. I've only got 10 of them. Yes. Um, ammo and bones. Nothing in the dog full bag. I can't remember if this one blows up. Oh, good. It does indeed. We've crippled him. He's buried in the rubble. There we go. Nuclear material. Chop off his limbs. Oh, we've got one of these dudes. I'm not taking any chances with these. Was that raider dialogue? Is there really a raider in here? Oh my god. Are they actually going to be there or are they already dead? Call an empty bottle. Just make sure to check my back. I'll level up their skull. We did indeed. 100% concentration on not getting killed. Oh. Three rounds left in this. Let's get down here. Right, so we do have sim settlements. I, I have no idea how that's going to work with this, but we'll grab this stuff anyway. Military ammo bag here, really? We quick saving. Okay, the bayonet is actually pretty good when I actually aim where I'm hitting. Right, we won't be able to get in here until everything is dead. Wow. Um. Oh, God, I wish I had a grenade here. Wow. Wasting ammo. Oh, good. Right. Let's get melee in. Down you go. Check what loot he had. Oh, God. Come in ever closer. Right, well, nothing can come from behind me. I'm going to regret saying that. I know I am, chat. Right, we'll take care of these guys. Right, I hope you're ready for a little bit... Ooh. Ooh, what have we just picked up? A little bit of a slug here because we've got a lot of zombies to kill. Are they all coming upstairs? They are indeed, my friend, unfortunately. Uh, a revolver shotgun. We have two of them. He uses 308 rounds. Oh, this looks good. Chat, I have a new favorite weapon. Oh, yes. Ambient screaming in the background. That's good. They're down. Yeah, this gun's pretty good. All right, we'll loot these in a second. Money. 
Money. Don't know if there's anything I can use the money for. Right, let's get this weapon hotkeyed. Uh, where's my Beretta gone? Oh, it's there. Game, don't do that to me. I lost the weapon there. Right, quick, quick breather there before the more of them come in. Jesus, chap, please. I don't know how long it takes for the girl in the white dress to respawn. Hopefully she gives me a little bit of a break. Right, do I actually have... Uh... We have parasites. Tired, mild, dehydrated. We've got paranoia. Okay. Very good. Uh, is it me who get more experience than before? So I believe the experience is randomized dependent on what type of zombie it is. Not 100% sure on that, don't quote me. Right, I don't think anything could get through there, I think that's just a, a drop. Right, well I'm going to fight my way backwards then, chat. We can clear these guys out. As long as we're in little clusters like that. I do not like the look of this room. Oh my oh my god, this guy's eyes. Wow, we missed. So level up. So we are leveling up quite quick because we are getting experience from the zombies. Now, that's not going to become overpowered because, like I said, when we die, we lose a special skill. So it's going to be a fine balance between leveling up from these guys and actually dying. I'm getting stuck on bodies here, chat. I need somewhere a little bit more open. She's too heavy to carry, okay. I think we just took a hit. That's not good. Jesus. Right, I'm not seeing any sort of infection, which is good. Pro tip, don't die. People die when they are killed. Alright. Nope. Try around this way. <laughs> this guy in a tank top. Who the hell is shooting? Is that um Preston in the group through the window? Of these guys. Down he goes. I see you. 
sure this area is clear. Oh, it's gonna be a moment chat here. Just a moment to uh, take a quick breathe and a drink. How are we doing chat? I've been ignoring the chat for the last couple of seconds to try and not get myself killed. I do apologize for that. Butcher Pete intensifies. Guys, if you can actually hit them, that would be great. Radiation. Let's take care of the big guy. Two rounds left in this. Two rounds, chat. Oh, God. I don't know if they can hit me through the wall, though. It's clipping a little bit. Down you go. Serve the wave of them. Yeet. Just jump off onto him. Oh, God. Now, this could work. Just keep going around and around. It'll be a little bit time consuming. Like I said, we're going to be here for a, a little bit of a while, chat. A little bit of a while. sure if I can make that jump. She nearly got me, chap. She nearly got me. Right, he's lost his arm. He's armless. Jesus. Go down to Concord, he said. It'll be fine, he said. Sneaking up behind me, chat. Wow, how is he still alive? Wow, glowing ones, please. Wow, waste all my bullets, why don't you? the trap settlers i know where the trap settlers are i'm trying to get in their game what are you what are you what are you doing right surely chat surely they can't be anymore xp farming in fallout indeed this will probably cover me for at least at least one death him down. Big pile of dead zombies there, chat. Very good. Right, let me let me let me go and have a look at the main entrance area. I haven't saved one bullet for you, so oh my god. Look at this dude. Where's he going? Chat, where's this guy going?
Wow, the music just does not let up, does it? Right, time for a quick save. Are you trying to hit me, zombie? No. Alright, he's going for it, chat. He's going for it. Let's get up there. That's him done. Don't think so, my friend. Right, who have we got left? Get right in there. We really just take a hit there, chat. We really did take a hit. Last impact. Can't believe that one hit me. Felt like it was a mile away from me. These guys are in the walls. They're in the walls. Three sixteen, no ammo. But you, you what, mate? Nope. Wow, they're coming in from behind me now. This is why we have to keep checking behind us, chat. Jesus. in a minute and that's another level up right what we're gonna do we're gonna duck into a corner over here and we're gonna get ourselves a couple of perks Make sure we're nice and clear all right so that's four perks to choose from don't actually know if there's gonna be anything that we can pick yet so I think some of these we need to get magazines in the world to actually unlock the perk that we can then choose. That increases the slow-mo time. Let's keep an eye out for those magazines there. Let me check that again, actually. We can get Heavy Gunner. Heavy Guns now do double damage. That's great. We don't have any Heavy Guns. Very good. We need Look 6 for that. Strength 7. Strength 8. Might be worth sticking some points into uh, the actual stats. What was that? Look 6. Criticals do twice as much extra damage. Hit fire damage is improved. Gun bashing does 50% more damage. That might be worth going for. You what, mate? Is that the um is that the minute minutes dead outside normally? Nope. Chat, I think that there are so many zombies in that little alleyway that they're actually pushing the other zombies into the wall and clipping them. Uh this would be really exciting with a souls mod that keeps the menu running while the menu is open keeps the game running even i did consider it the only reason why i didn't is because going into the menu is peak i'm checking the chat time so 
so I don't want to feel like anyone is being ignored. But uh, if you're playing this by yourself, I would probably recommend checking that out. Also, I've just exploded that zombie's head and it's landed on the side there. Lovely. Alright, let's clear the way out here. This guy's too heavy. There's so many of them, chat, that's struggling to get through the door. You can say it's when you do that on the pause menu. Oh, I didn't know that. Wouldn't you love to have the minigun? Robbie, that would be absolutely fantastic. Right, do I actually have any weaponry with ammo? Pretty much no. Sweet Jesus. Mm, no ammo. This could work, chat. This could work. I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the chat. What do you think? Do you think it's overpowered me getting experience from the zombies? Considering the fact that we're going to be losing special skills when we die anyway. That is definitely not up here. They're all down in that main foyer. could be bad. If I jump down there, it's going to open them up a little bit. And in fact, it's going to allow these guys... Preston and the guys are out. Right, I'm getting into that room right now before they go back in and lock it. I've never seen them come out there before. Don't mind me just rushing my way up here. Everyone's on it. Beautiful. Guys, I could have used this help like five, ten minutes ago. It's fair plus the perk book mechanic you got. That's fine then. Yeah, it's, it's not really overpowered if I can't use the perks. Right, if these guys want to keep shooting, then... Uh, I'll keep the stairwell covered. Plus infection chance, definitely fair call. Touch press and cover. Okay, we've done that bit of the quest. Very good. Don't think I can actually talk to him yet. Right, who's opening doors? Preston, please, this is my job. We're covering a stairway. That's fine, I just want it to be overpowered. Jun! Jun, what are you doing? Oh, Jun's getting absolutely mauled out here. What's he doing, madman? Um, I don't know what happens if the settlers here get injured. Uh, do do? One question, Skull. Is it set to lethal infection or just standard? I want to say it's just standard. Yep. 
Yeah, Jun's injured. He's got a bit of a limp going there. Yeah, he's had enough. Preston and Sturgis, though, going absolutely bananas. Just want to hear Preston in his short controlled bursts. Well, this has got him out that hallway. Getting rads. Chat, how long have we been uh, hacking zombies in here? It feels about half an hour. We're nearly done. I can't hit these guys over this massive pile of zombies. We are peckish. I am not surprised. Mossy and Jun side by side. What a team. What a team. Beautiful. Rapidly lowers health, but does it kill? Yeah, I think that's the saying that we have it on. This is why I have to hit that. Jun just jumped down there like a madman. Uh, hit them stim packs as soon as we get infe uh, infected. What was that? Are we done? Are we done? Jesus. No, we've got more. I think we're nearly done now. Let's go and check that hallway out, see how many we have cleared out. Oh, it's lovely and clear, beautiful. Stuck in the wall. I think it might just be the ones that are stuck in the wall. All right, we'll get rid of these. These guys here. Right, is that it? Is that all of them? Nope, one in the wall here. Jesus. Right, bear with me two seconds, chat. I am going to just have a quick drink. Well, that was, uh, that was certainly something. Right, well, at this point, Jesus Christ, Marcy, you scared the ever and crap out of me. I nearly, uh, nearly, uh, nearly hit Marcy there. <laughs> Well, that armor then. We got some stuck in the walls. Are we done? Hey. We need help, and we get a vault dweller. What are you going to do in that stupid? Zombie? All right, let's go and speak to Preston. That took about a hundred times longer than what it usually does. Don't mind me, just. Jumping over all these mounds of dead zombies. He's in here. Let's speak to him in here if we can. Please, you need to listen to me. Preston, my friend, what gun have you got? Please, you need to listen to me. All right. Well, I don't think we can speak to Preston until he makes his way back into the room, which makes sense because Sturges does his whole spiel as well. So let's get in there and wait for them to get back. Oh, Mama Murphy made it. Oh, well, that's disappointing, chat. Careful, kid. Excellent. Perception has been permanently increased by one. I don't know... I don't know if the word permanently should be there, because if we die, we have a chance to actually lose it. Is something coming? <laughs> 
Alright, we've still got a death call to take care of. Magazine as well. That was some funky music for the, uh, the magazine. Right, well, let's wait for a moment while these guys are coming back. So while we are waiting for them to come back, those in the chat that I have not done so so far, feel free to check out the Discord. A link should be in the video description down below. And aside from that, I do hope you are enjoying the stream so far. Where is Sturges? Hey there. Please, you need to listen to me. There we go, we can do this. Um You owe me. Yeah, sure thing. <coughs> I'll give you my chest full of emeralds just as soon as we're out of this mess. Why can um Preston Garvey's redesign? The world's changed so much. None of this makes sense. Hey, right. Dave Claw. No, not another Dave Claw. Need your help. And then maybe we can Afternoon, help. my friend. What brought you out here? Please, you need to listen to me. Oh, Preston, please. Please, you need to listen to me. Where is Sturgis? We need to get everyone back in here because then the uh, the quest hook stuff can trigger properly. Sturgis? Got the aftermath of what we just went through there, chat. Chat, if you ever cough in that bag, you need to uh, isolate yourselves. Please, you need to listen to me. Please, you need to listen to me. All right, may have to advance this part of the quest manually. Um, noises, please no. I thank you very much for updating me there, Chill. If you are enjoying the stream so far, do drop a like. The Minutemen were supposed to protect us. Garby promised. He promised. Ah, uh, Jun's here. Um, it's not looking good for Sturges. Hi. Please, you need to listen to me. I'm just sure. Right, Where let's uh, let's get through this in case it breaks again. Tough break. Uh huh. Let's hear it. Uh -huh. Oh no, here he is. A up on the roof. There we go. Old school. Pre war. Pre war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet good. We're talking a full suit of chair and three forty five power on Where the hell is Sturgis? Why is there a zombie? Where the hell did these guys come from? But well, we were done with this chat. Game keeps bringing me back in. Oh, where's Sturgis? He's down here. Sturgis. Any day now, new guy. Any day. Right, what stage are we on, on the quest? Touch Preston Garvey. Wow, zombies are gonna break this quest every time they spawn. <laughs> Hardest part here is speaking to Preston. Please, you need to listen to me. I'm just passing through. Fair enough. But the I'm trying to skip for this. The world's changed so much. None of Crawling back out of the walls. All right. Listen, we need maybe those are the raiders that spawn. It very well could be. I do believe there is a time delay from uh, an NPC that's been infected. Looking for your. Uh huh. Tough break. Tough right. Let's hear it. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Sturgis is speaking to us from uh, the floor below. <laughs> 
game. Please, you're killing me here. I'm hearing zombies again. That's some serious. Uh huh. Sure. I'm hearing a zombie. The answer's no. Oh no, we clicked the wrong option. Just like that, huh? mm -hmm. Oh, game, please. Unlock the security gate. Uh, chat, that zombie has no head. We still got him. Unlock the security gate. Oh, kiddo. It's a coffin trapped in a chat. It very well might have been, actually. We've, uh, we've got through it anyway. That's all that matters. Are we sure these guys are dead? Right, let's get in here. Skull's character needs to stop smoking three packs a day. I mean, I believe it's because we've got parasites, but damn, what are they in our lungs? That's it. The fusion core, put the fusion core in the power armor. Good. Next stage of the quest. What time are we sitting at in game? Oh, yeah, and that's fine. Uh, as long as we got daylight. Sure as hell, I'm not fighting a death call at night. That is going to be a very, very, very bad time. We are, we are going to have to try and get that healed. Dehydrated is probably uh, not helping things with the old cough as well. Lungworms. Oh, God. Now let's save here because occasionally have issues going through this door. Don't like free cuts on the stairs. Yeah, just one or two. Just one or two. Please, like there be no, no zombies at this bit. I'd like to be able to get in the power armor without any issues. Get ready with that command menu. <sighs> Loading times, please. I think we're good. Minigun operations. Uh, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Perception five size matters. Okay. Is that one of the perk books? Perception five. It is one of the perks. Heavy guns are more accurate. Ah, right, so they're actually like books then. Right, well, let's go ahead and pick that. Seeing as though we are going to be using one in a moment. In the power armor we go. Honestly, oh, save before each load zone. Yeah, that's true. There are definitely ones that I've had more issues with, though. Grab the minigun. Nice scope. I love the fact that the audio dialogues still play. Because, uh... That's usually that guy that says it. Zombie on the roof? Who's hitting Preston? I can't exactly see. Someone was hitting Preston. 
All right, let's get down there, chat. Let's get down there. I'm sure no one heard that. Right, I'm going to save most of the ammo of this for the old uh, Deathclaw or whatever actually spawns. Or at least that's the plan. And that's a crash. Very good. That was the first crash of the game. Let's go ahead and get it reloaded. Well, honestly, chat, I am impressed that we got that long before the game crashed, if I'm honest. GG. Game crashed. Very good. How long were we going before that, uh, that crash? I don't actually know how long I've been streaming for. Two and a half hours. Noise. Jump back in it. It happens. Yeah, we loading. Just got to wait for the game to uh, hang up. And we should get straight back in it. How long are we streaming for? We've got a little bit more to go. I wanted to make this a little bit longer than my usual streams. You know, being the first stream of Reinfected. I'd say another half an hour to an hour. We'll see how it goes. Right, let's load that. I need to change the um, the intro. It's added by Whispering Hills and aside from it being exceptionally creepy, it has some copyright music in. And it hits me every time. Uh, have the mods revamped all potentially enemy spawns to be some variant of zombies? Yes, uh, the majority of enemy types have got a percentage chance to be a zombie uh, instead of whatever they are. Some have been set to like 100%, I think. I think everything is at least at a 50% chance of being uh, a zombie. And then... It's additional ones as well, so like for example, one more rat could spawn as between one to five zombies. And then aside from that as well, there are additional spawns. Plus there's all the added horror monsters from Grim and Whispering Hills. I'm looking at you, Dave. And once again, before we dive back in, if there is anyone who's tuned in since I mentioned last time, if you're interested in this mod list, go ahead and check out the Discord. Link in the description. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully we don't crash. Let's go down this way. Wow, this shreds through him. Okay, so I'm going to try and save a lot of the ammo for this. For the old uh, Deathclaw. Short controlled bursts. Can I melee? Yes. Down you go. Now what causes the uh, Deathclaw to... ...to spawn? Ed Bob's in the chat. Welcome, my friend. Welcome indeed. Uh, 
you were at 6,660 subscribers. We need to get six more subscribers. We need to get ultimate spooky number on the very first free infected stream. That would be pretty, uh, pretty cool. Right, the music needs to take it down a notch or two. Oh my god, it's Dave too. It's Dave's friend. Oh no. No, no, no. No. Who would have thought it? Let's go ahead and reload. I wonder how long... It a Dave 2 electric boogaloo is going to last against a minigun. Right, he's down. He went down fairly quick. That's good. like the fact that he's still making noises, chat. Good. Good. Is it Dave's sister? I don't know who it is, but they're dead. Which is all that counts. was getting a little bit too close to me. Report back to Preston. After oh my god, game, please, that's loud. After the battle, you notice several warning indicators in your power armor. Dashboard are flashing. A loud, a loud alarm sounds followed by a voice recording on your headphones. Warning, generator cooling system failed. System overheating in 10, 9, 8. You should probably get out of this suit right now. Okay. Okay, this is new. Chat, this, that should happen in a vanilla game. Right, no power armor. I was not expecting that. That is fantastic. That should definitely happen in a vanilla game. All right. Oh, that makes sense. All right, we've got this minigun to keep us going for the time being. We've got a lot of ammo for it, so uh, we could get a gun that uses the same ammo type. Time is still counting down while you read. Jesus, we were close then if that was the case. Yeah, we get the core back. Um, good take damage as soon as we come in. That's a little bit unfair game. We, uh... God damn it. That is going back in. Right, let's reload that. I'm not happy with the fact that 
the game being the game loads in a couple of seconds before we actually see, so... We may still take damage, which we have, so that's fine, that's fair. Maybe if these guys were actually, you know, doing uh, some health or stuff by killing the zombies, we wouldn't take damage then. So at least to an infection that's worth an undo. See, I don't mind. Um, if we go in and we load up the console, it gives the game a chance to load. We take a hit after that, that's fine. Guys, how have we still got zombies in here? Sturgis, what gun are you using, my friend? Very good. Are they really worth saving, though? This is a very good point. Empty shell. I've got empty shell as a weapon. Okay. We don't have any stem packs. Right, let's get back out of here. No more Sturge up in the floaty 9000 SMG. He's a, uh, he's a mechanic. He just makes it work. You know, I never made any assurances that this mod list was 100% uh, not, not bought. Preston's dancing. Very good. All right, we're going to get back out of here because I need to go and get healed up. If we can make it to the uh, the Drumlin Diner, we might be able to get a stim pack. Uh, it's going to be slot. I guess it's yeah. That that's uh, that's a good point. A bit overkill. <laughs> Right, can we speak to Preston now? Was that the last zombie? Chat, I, I'll be honest, chat. I never want to come back into the Museum of Freedom ever again after this. Preston, please stop running away from me. Preston, please. I'm trying to talk to you, my friend. Preston, please. Oh, can the zombies please let me... Progress. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah. Concur. Listen. Concur. You're welcome. Anytime. And like that, Preston just left. He was never to be seen from again. Use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. Camera angles, please. What are you doing to me? I've seen it, and I know your pain. Uh, what do we got here? Don's the biohazards has both donated five dollar dues and has acquired Nuka Cola. Fantastic choice, my friend. Welcome to the channel. Get yourself on over to the Discord and drop me a message. And we'll get the relevant perks. Don't give me that destiny crap. I just saw you go toe to toe with a 20 foot tall irradiated lizard. You telling me you can't keep an open mind out? I think that was something different than a lizard present. Uh, I've been watching your videos for a while. I've been huge for that fan. Well, I do hope you enjoy them, my friends. And once again, thank you very much. Oh, no, that's the noise from the uh, girl in the white dress. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god, the camera angles. What are we doing? I'm listening. Look, kid. I know how I... <laughs> Skip all Mama Murphy dialogue every time. Now I must find a Discord. There should be a link in the description, my friend. If there is not, I'm sure... ...that there is in one of my recent videos. Check the more recent videos in any of the descriptions. There should be a Discord link. I'm just coughing all over Preston here. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? it can oh, hold on, hold on. Chat, Everybody chat, give me the heads up. Take it easy. Give me the heads up. Together, right? So, Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Um. Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June, it's time to go. Oh, okay. Right, I'm going to let these guys go out the front door. I'm going to make a slightly different way out of the building, just in case there are zombies outside and we get hit again straight away, which is always absolutely fan dabby dozy So we're going to jump off the balcony. I don't think it'll be that high up that we'll take damage. Here we go. Nice ambient music going. Do it. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the NPCs and companions that are like are currently set to essential. I will be changing up when we get to the point of uh, passing Whispering Hills. And those NPCs, once those modded quests have been done and I no longer have the need to have certain NPCs in, Everyone is going to be set to non-essential and uh, if someone has an untimely accident with a minigun then uh, hey ho They can jump onto the church and climb down if it's too much damage. That's a very good point That grew some ass radstag right there Hello, times, please. Hello, Nate. Welcome to the channel, my friend. Please don't let dog me die. That's a very good point. Uh, we have unfortunately had that happen in previous series. Now, unfortunately, dog meat tends to do whatever dog meat wants to do, so uh, we can't really keep him in a certain location. It does look pretty, pretty high from up here. Right behind you, boss. I'm sure it's fine. No, it was definitely not fine, chat. It was definitely not fine. Chat, I think we've just broke our ankles. Chat, please. Oh god, both legs, both legs and an arm. Well, that's maximum regret. It's not even... Okay, it's pretty high up. Right, well, we are going to hobble over to the Drumlin Diner. So, uh... Do bear with me. What is Mama Murphy doing? It'll be fine, he said. Proceed to break like, oh, goddammit, it, demon. This is fine. 
That noise was potentially not fine. He didn't even probably quick saving. I'd feel bad reloading for something like that. I made the decision to jump off, so I'm going to have to li live with the consequences of my broken ankles. Noises, please. And before day three, rag, please. Now, all being well, we might be able to get a stim pack here. There may even be a... Your health is low. Well, really? What the hell is this? Chat, what? Chat, this might be death number two. I don't exactly know what the hell I'm fighting here. But whatever it is, there's two of them. And we're done. Wow. What it what was that? Can we get a Dave counter? Dave for we eat you home. Oh my god. Are we gonna be back at Sanctuary? Oh, that's gonna be another special perk lost. Where? Game, please. Robo Samurai. Join back. Join in the Discord. Very good. Um, no. We are on the bridge nearby. Oh, you spawn at the nearest available beds. There's a stim pack in here. Well, uh, legs have healed up. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? It's fairly dehydrated. So when you die, you become extremely tired, starving, and severely hydrated every time. Domo arigato, Mr. Robato. Andy, please. Well, dying is certainly one way to heal your legs up. Let's have a quick look. I should probably keep an eye on what I'm actually losing. Yeah, not, not entirely sure what that was. Uh, also not sure what that is. Uh, so how do I go about linking my Discord to here? What do you mean, my friend? Uh, if you're in the Discord, uh, just drop me a message on it. Um, Chill or Andy, if you are still in the chat, my friends, could you just help Don's out? That would be greatly appreciated. Chat, what the hell is that? <coughs> Chat, there's something on the road down there, and I kind of don't want to go and see what it is. You are starving. I'm going to have to move because we're going to die if we don't eat. Right, well, let's not jump off this and break our legs again, because uh, fool me once. We need to get to the Drumlin Diner though, and that is very close. There's definitely something there. We don't see it's too dark. I mean, I, I pretty much can't see it myself. I could just see the faint outline of something moving. To the, uh, let's get to the Drumlin Diner. Let's get to the Drumlin Diner and everything will be okay, chat. Everything will be just fine. Uh, 
Right, these guys are still arguing as normal. I'm getting straight inside. Please tell me that was just my uh, paranoia. Jesus, chap. I thought I told you this ain't any of your concern. Hmm, kind of on that gun. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. Still rolling around in a vault suit. What am I doing? Just don't do anything crazy. I'm calling it right here. This world can officially bite my ass. Hey, we all got problems, all right? I'm just trying to collect on what's owed to me. Don't suppose you feel like helping us out. I uh, use VATS. We're using the VAFs. Um, it's the slow-mo bullet time-esque instead of VATS. If I help, I expect to get paid. I'm not here to Oh, we can see the uh, the sword that we've got equipped on our back. That's pretty cool. What's it gonna be? I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. Appreciate it. Alright, well, we haven't seen the girl in a white dress for a while, which is good, but I'm also on... Nope! <coughs> Don't know what that was. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. <laughs> uh, do. Look, you owe the money. If you just pay them, then this will be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. I got Me just idea. casually trying to persuade her while I'm holding a big minigun. Caps to put a bullet between his eyes. Wolfgang and I had a deal. If I'm going to back out on it, I'll need more. I'm not playing this game, Scabber. Wow. Caps are nothing. All right, Trudy. I'll get rid of him. Thank you. I'll back you up from here. Go get him. I'm going to be staying here as well. I do kind of like to try and keep everyone alive here, but if it's not meant to be... Where are they? Right, they're done. Right, we can talk to Trudy. Let's try and find these guys in the darkness. Ooh. Right, we are carrying too much and cannot run. That's fine. Let's take everything because we can trade some of it off. So I'm shooting in the distance. Most importantly, have we got anything like a stim pack that's going to help? I go on it on a stick. Don't mind if I do. We're just going to eat and drink a plethora of items here, chat. Right, what's going to be the best thing here? Perception and Charisma. Road Leathers. Ah, what weaponry did we just get, chat? What weaponry? Does Paranoia make them sounds? It does indeed. Uh, we got one of those revolver shotguns that we had before, but it's glow-sided. That's pretty good. Minigun is eating up all my carry weight at the minute. Uh, what about junk? Let's get back into the shop. Don't know who's shooting. Hey. Can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, oh, this God. Is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. Very good. Uh, let's take let's a look. See what you've got. Let's see. Everything. Definitely an iguana. Definitely nothing else. Uh, 
Alright, close side one surely must be better. Oh, we got the HK MP7. This is suppressed, that's good. That was um Wolfgang's. Hold up a minute, I don't get paid to help poke on Discord. Andy, please, my friends. There'll be some caps in it for you. Turn the trade. All right, have we got any food? Oh, dog food. Very good. Let's go ahead and get some dog food. Nothing for parasites. 263 for some antibiotics, chat. Oh, here we go. Spend the majority of our money on some uh, food. It's always good. Grooms like 10 out of 16. We didn't actually read that. Oh, she's got a book here. Organize it to engage with Zorp. Right. Show passion for your love of organization with the help of an almighty lizard god. Strength 5, strong bat. Level up. Strength 5 is not strong back. Where is that then? Okay, so some of the perks are in different locations then. Dreadnought. There is no break on the pain trend. That'd be good. Not seeing strong back. I don't know if I'm overlooking that or if there's potential issue with the mod. That's fine, we'll check that out later on. We need to eventually add a death counter. Yeah, that could be good. Who the hell is shooting? Right, I think for now, chat, we need to get back to Sanctuary. So it's got a nice little reload on, just in case we bump into any more weird things. Like whatever the hell that is down there. I think these are just glowing ones, that's fine. Probably just going to annoy them. Oh no, trash can collar, I completely forgot about that. That's fine, she's going to have to deal with them herself. Too damn dark to be helping Trash Can Carla. Right, this is the thing that we found before Neo Humanity. So we have, um, what is it called off the top of my head? M's Abominations mod on. That might be from that. A plasma katana. Okay, let's grab that. How good is that? If we ever pick up a modded weapon that looks like it's extremely overpowered, then we won't be using it. But... So the Vaker that we've got is 36. And that's 9 and 10, so that's not actually that bad. Here one. And that's a crash. Very good. Okay, maybe that, that sword is not working then. Right, let's get the game reloaded. Didn't he Beretta have a flashlight? Potentially. Oh, why is it so dark? It's because it's like midnight in game. And we are going ultra spookies, my friends.
So, uh, yeah, we're going to get the uh, game reloaded again. Going to assume that that sword doesn't work. I'm chat, throwing this out here for anyone else who plays, you know, Fallout or Skyrim quite frequently. How much in the way of money would you have if you had one dollar every time the game has crashed? Because I tell you, I would be a very rich man. Can you config command to give yourself some caps and delete the sword? And do that if you find any corrupt weapons. I'm not too concerned. Um, it may have been the sword, it may not have been. What I'll probably do after the stream is try and find those swords. And if I pick it up and it crashes again, then I definitely know it's the sword. Insta copyright claim by Halo. Stream banned. Game banned. Least a hundy. I suppose it depends how much you've played the game. Like I said, this is based off of a Wabajack mod list that I've just added a couple of mods onto myself, so there may be a little bit of conflicts there. Still massively impressed at the stability of of this and for the most part any of the Wobbajack playlists that I've put together. I'd have enough money to sort the crashes out. I mean, how much does a new game engine cost? Right, we won't pick that up again. What I'm going to do, we'll get close to it. I'll pop a save. And I can reload that specific save after the stream and check it out in private. But now we need to get ourselves back to Sanctuary. Let's put a minigun away for now. It's making us a little bit slower. Have we gone past him? No, he's there, right. Let's go ahead and throw a separate save there for scientific testing later on. Two deaths, two crashes. Honestly, I thought we'd have uh, a few more for both of them, if I'm honest, so uh, I'm happy with uh, that. <coughs> well, this place is nice and clear. I'm not surprised because all the zombies came into the museum. going to assume that Preston and Nagan have already made it back. I had a crash and death counter. I don't know if there's enough space on the screen for the crash counter. I think I would do if I had a stream deck. Because I'd be able to program it in so I could just press it and it'd updo it. Yeah, you raise a very good point there. Are these guys actually back here? Now, you have to think, if I'd set this so that the settlers and NPCs could die straight away, I'd have to actually walk with them and actually protect them for once. Because there is no way they would survive getting back. They barely survived the museum.
Well, if they're not back, I'm not entirely uh, too bothered. Make them tiny in each corner. What I'll probably do then is uh, get freaked out by growling. Okay. Right, well, these guys are back here then. Right, that's fine. 6.40 p.m. and it's this dark. And what is up with us? Overtired, famished, mildly dehydrated. We have no food. Except for the stuff that we bought. Still hungry. Still peckish. Uh, managed settlement. Cancel that. Alright, can we build ourselves a water pump? A powered one. Can we drink from this? Yes, we can. Very good. Still parched. Okay, if the chat wants a death counter, I'll look into it. Definitely. Um, probably get that set up for the next episode. I don't really see the point of sticking on just yet. But uh, we'll get that in next time then. Mossy, what are you doing? Right, we're only going to be able to do five hours at a time. Make a farm. Yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of building at some point. You awake still tired? We keep waking up when there's a storm. What time are we saying that? 5 a.m. That'll do. that. I'm gonna wait until it's not as foggy or dark. So we'll just chill on the couch for a couple of hours. That's fine. Very good. <coughs> wow, Cosworth, please. Headlamps, what are we doing? Blinded me here, dude. The incessant hammering. Go collect and cook the death claw meat of Dave One. If he's still there, then I will. I wasn't originally going to take the meat, but if all death claws are going to be Dave's. I know, I think it may have despawned. I think it was over here, maybe. Gumdrops will do. Yeah, we need to get a little bit of a farm established. If we're going to be getting extremely hungry every time we die, we need a lot of food coming in. What do we call the night creatures? Are they called Dave Claws? Game, please. Can we, can we not do that when I'm checking the chat? Right, chat. At this point of the stream, I am going to bring it to a close. I wanted to do a slightly longer stream than usual for this, with it being the first episode and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, we're going to bring the stream to a close here. I think that's a nice amount of progress today. 
Um, we're going to have to explore those quests a little bit more. We're going to have to try and find out how to cure our insanity. So as I said, I think I'm just going to progress through with the main quest. I wonder if maybe there's someone in Diamond City that can help us out with that. What a fantastic addition to the outro. A nice cough. So yeah, I do hope you have enjoyed tonight's stream of Fallout 4 Reinfected. First episode, first stream. We're going to be doing a lot more of this throughout October. So uh, if you did like this and you want to see more, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. That is all very much appreciated as always. As mentioned previously, if you're interested in checking out the mod list or joining the Discord, those links should be in the description as well. Special thank you to those in the chat this evening that have both donated and joined the channel. That is absolutely fantastic of you, and I just hope to keep making good quality content for you. But yeah, aside from that chat, you are going to have to catch me in the next one. And I'll see you all later. Thank you for watching.